What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today marks episode 4 in Mr. Whippy, the construction process of my Ivan Whiplash cosplay from Iron Man 2. Now today's episode is a little bit different from the regular exoskeleton stuff. Today is all about weathering, distressing, tearing up and burning the orange jumpsuit coveralls. Where Ivan Whiplash comes out onto the racetrack and he unzips the top of his coveralls and the exoskeleton powers up, pretty much burns off the top of these coveralls, leaves them in tatters hanging over his legs. So this is the pair of coveralls that I've purchased. Granted that we are going to have to put a black dummy zipper on here. It's not going to be functioning, but it's going to make it a lot more screen accurate. Whereas these have snap fasteners, the screen used overalls have a black zipper. So first steps first is we have to remove all of these snap fasteners. Then I'm going to grab a quick unpick and a razor and get rid of all these safety panels here. So I've already got a head start on one side as you can see right there, but I will show you guys the process of removing these panels. Then after that, I'm going to pop the thing on, line it all up and start to mark out the knee holes because there are exoskeleton parts on his knees that kind of burn through the knee sections of the jumpsuit. Now I have gone ahead and made a little makeshift strap just using some seatbelt material and velcro so that'll strap underneath and then this will hang over it then we can put the exoskeleton on top of it. In terms of weathering it's going to be a mixture of actual heat we are going to be burning and singeing some pieces of this once it's all cut up tattered and frayed. They're going to be going in with good old dirt from the driveway and just really tatter this thing up. Fun, simple, good way to kill time this afternoon. This is part for Mr. Whippy guys. Enjoy. Let's get to it. Alright geeks, so I've removed majority of all the uh, safety panels and some uh, white lining on the inside here, so I'll have to go in and get rid of this part here. Uh, but for the most part, it's all good to go in terms of the weathering process. So here is the underbelt as you see right here. Nice and simple, one to keep it as streamlined as possible and of course it hangs over like so and then the exoskeleton belt harness will cover this area here. So it's time to start cutting this piece up. So I'm going to start with the knee. So this is why I've got this on now so I can mark out exactly where I need to cut and then I can start going in with the burning and the weathering process and then also start shredding the top here. So from what I've seen on screen you shots it's just like panels of tears hanging down. So, so I will be cutting a split down the back here to kind of make it all drape around the front like it does on the screen you suit because at the moment everything's still intact and it's kind of splitting right here. So I'm just going to grab myself a standard pencil and start marking the knees. Okay, now that that's done, I'm actually going to mount this on a mannequin bottom so that way I can really take my time when it comes to cutting the top half um, and then I can go in and start cutting around the knees. Now, there is going to be no symmetry to the knees. I don't want a sense of uniform, you know. He's powered up the exoskeleton and it's burned out the suit in different parts. Okay, now that I've got the coveralls mounted on the mannequin bottom here, I'm actually going to go ahead and slice right down the back here so we can let it splay out and fall naturally. And then we can go to work marking out exactly the panels where to cut. Now, I actually did a test with the blowtorch on an off cut of the coveralls itself. And look at that burnout. It's just beautiful. And literally, all I did was blast it straight head on and then got rid of the excess charring um, material that was remaining. So I think this is going to be the go-to in terms of doing the singeing effect. Here we go. So I'm also going to remove the sleeves altogether because at the moment it's just taking up too much space and it's just bunching all around the bottom there and it just doesn't look natural like the screen you suit. And the arms do burn off as well in that scene.
Okay, so now that I'm pretty happy with how the tattering's looking, it's time to actually move on to singeing all of the edges and also the surface area of the coveralls itself. So I'm just gonna be using my propane torch. Um, now, you do have to be careful because some areas may catch on fire, little spot fires may start. Quickly pat them out so when everything's done, when everything's singed and cooled down, we're then gonna go in and remove the charred excess, leaving behind a nice charred edge around the whole body of the coverall itself. Alright geeks, the weathering process is pretty much done. I'm surprised how much I could get away with uh, actually using the blowtorch to weather the majority of the overalls itself. Now this is the underside, so that's why it looks a lot more brighter than the side that is going to be showing for the actual final cosplay itself. So the next and pretty much final step is installing a dummy zipper because the original screen use coveralls had a heavy duty black zipper as opposed to the snap on pieces that we removed at the beginning of the video. So like I said, this is going to be a dummy zipper. It's not going to be functioning. So I actually am going to be removing the zipper piece itself, separating the tracks, attaching it on each side. If this were to be a functioning zipper, I would properly install it and sew it in the proper manner. Uh, but like I said, because this is roughed up, it's all torn up, this is purely just for display, we can get away with adhering it to the actual overalls itself. Once it's fully dried, I'm gonna try them on with the boots, show you guys a demonstration, and call it a day.
So thanks very much for watching guys. Very happy with how these turned out. It's one extra thing to cross off the list of this massive build. So next week's episode is actually going to be the episode before I go away to the States. What Miles and I are planning to do for episode 5 is to pretty much lay out all the fully completed 3D printed pieces, show you guys how they look displayed on the floor and then put the whole exoskeleton together. We're then going to do a demonstration with the coveralls as well and then it's off to the States. It's then going to be a mad rush to get everything primed, painted, weathered, do all the electronics. I also have to dedicate a full episode to the makeup in terms of the fake tan, doing tests on the tattoos, the contact lenses and also getting the grill made. So. We are sort of racing against the clock when I get back, but we are definitely going to have this done by the deadline, which is the end of September for Sydney Oz Comic Con. Guys, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.